It was the scene cruise fans have been waiting for. Carnival's massive Mardi Gras cruise ship steering into Port Canaveral this morning, followed closely by Royal Caribbean's newest ship, the Odyssey of the Sea. And just a few hours later, cruise fans got another reason to celebrate the date when they can board the ship once again. Good evening and welcome. I'm David Bowden. And I'm Andrea Jackson. Royal Caribbean says its first passenger cruise is just around the corner. Fox 35 Samantha Sosa has the details. I'm standing right in front of one of Royal Caribbean's new ships. This industry really has a ripple effect on every business out here in Brevard County. All aboard, cruise dates are official for Royal Caribbean just hours after the Odyssey at Sea docked at Port Canaveral. The cruise line will officially set sail in Florida on July 2nd in Miami. The first cruise date out of Port Canaveral is set for August 8th. Now with the quarantine that we save a lot of money doing nothing, we can take it. I'm ready. Other cruise lines are slowly making comebacks too. This morning, Carnival's massive new Mardi Gras ship docked as thousands watched. Carnival's pushing for a July 31st sail date for that ship. Disney Cruise Line's expecting to complete a test cruise from Port Canaveral on June 29th. Their ships arrived last week. The return of these ships isn't good only for the cruise industry, but also the businesses here in Port Canaveral. Whether you're going on the cruise or not, it brings people in. Tourists, even people that live in Bavard County, like to come to the port and see these monster ships coming in and out of the port. So um, we're excited to get back to business. Restaurants today bustling with people, visitors taking photos by the ships. Rich Hensel, owner of Rising Tide Tap and Table at the port, says it's a revival of the area's economy. More people. It means more jobs. It means more economic impact to not just the port, but Bavard County, but all our storefronts, our gas stations, our restaurants, our hotels, which is desperately needed. The arrival of these ships also marks the first time the port's new terminal, Terminal 3, will be used. In Port Canaveral, Samantha Sosa, Fox 35 News.